Hello. Hope you guys are all doing wonderful today and enjoying your marvelous Monday, right? And we're here for another wonderful Facebook Live and learning about this wonderful essential oils life, right? So today, keeping in mind that January's theme is all about detoxing and keeping ourselves clean and feeling great, is this is going to be the sheet that we're going to be learning from. It's called Detox and Renew with Essential Oils. Um, it's a fold-out, actually. It's not just a regular one sheet, so it's a fold-out. So if you're interested in this, please, please message me or comment down below. Um, and again, comment throughout the video so that if you have anything, I can get back with you about any of your questions at the end of the video. Um, I'm not going to respond to any of the comments during the video so that those of you who are um, using this as a quick, short lunch break, we can keep it quick and simple for you. And then I'll have any extra stuff to be able to share at the end as usual. So let's get things going. So let's take a look at why we need um, to be able to care for ourselves and to possibly, you know, uh, slow down and do a detox. Um, so some benefits to detoxing is detoxing is critically important to be able to keep your body healthy and strong. Uh, learning to cleanse your body the proper way is easy and it will, you'll feel much better once uh, the job is done. So after detoxing and cleansing, many people experience a greater sense of vitality, well-being, are not able to reduce and uh, completely eliminate their prescription uh, drugs. So when performing any of these uh, cleanses, it's a good idea to be able to make sure and use the oils in small amounts, so one to four drops, um, two or three times a day for about a month. Um, to cleanse in the most cost-effective manner, be sure to take advantage of the monthly ordering, right? So our body needs nutritional support during cleansing and detoxification. So some of the ways that you can do this is um, with a multivitamin and uh, minerals, omega fatty acids, uh, your cellular complex. These all help with uh, inflammation and oxidation redu uh, reduction, excuse me. <laughs> um, and they also help uh, with making sure and providing minerals and vitamins for a healthy lifestyle. The detoxification blend is extremely supportive um, before and during um, all the, the cleanses. They're also use, it's also useful during the detoxification um, to help with any potential reactions from detoxing. Um, and it helps with healthy cleansing and filtering of the functions of your liver, kidneys, colon, lungs, and skin, which is all really important, right? So cleansing, though, should be done in a particular order because you don't want, you know, to have, however that saying is, um, the horse lead the, or the wagon lead the horse, right? So we want to make sure that we cleanse in the proper order. Um, so the, the first um, area that we want to, cl to cleanse would be the colon. That's our number one priority. So some of our common health concerns with our colon would be that we could be having sluggish elimination, watery stools, gas or bloating, rectal itching, um, abdominal pain, bowel smelling feces, um, undigested food, mucus in the stool, dehydration, and just a sedentary lifestyle. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our colon is drink more water. Um, using um, uh, bentonite, uh, clay, and psyllium holes shakes. Those help with impacted material from the digestive tract. And then using um, the digestive blend helps with digestion and elimination. Uh, making sure that you're taking in a really good probiotic. It helps provide beneficial bacteria for your gut. And then uh, taking digestive enzymes help also with und undigested food. Then the next step of detoxing your system would be the cardiovascular system. So some of our things that we might be concerned about would be cholesterol is out of balance, blood sugar issues, uh, overweight, smoking, you have a sedentary lifestyle, family history of heart disease, inflammation causing blocked vessels, right? 
So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our cardiovascular system is using oils like lemon. It helps uh, support um, uh, removing plaque and uh, helps with leveling the blood pressure. Rosemary is supportive for cholesterol balancing. Uh, lavender is supportive with cardiotonic. Uh, ginger supports normal cholesterol balance and supple arteries. And then the cellular complex um, helps reduce inflammation and protection of the cardiovascular system. Some major powerhouses, right? So then our next area we want to cleanse would be the liver. So some of our concerns for our liver could be that it's sluggish with elimination, having gas, bloating, our face and body are flushing, um, our food and we're having food and pollen sensitivities, we're feeling groggy, sluggish, uh, we're having headaches, our, our liver is starting to get kind of fatty, um, cholesterol levels are out of whack, we're having hormone imbalances, sleep disturbances, feeling irritable and angry. Don't want that, right? I know I don't. So ways to be able to help cleanse and support and rebuild your liver are um, several different oils. We have geranium, which helps the liver detoxification. Um, it helps with fat in the liver and damaged liver tissue. Uh, the digestive blend supports liver detoxification. Uh, helichrysum uh, supports regeneration and detoxification. And myrrh supports scar tissue and inflammation due to disease. And then our next system, the gallbladder. Some of our you know, common concerns can be that we're having pain and spasms under the right rib cage, especially after eating fatty food. Uh, having se severe upper abdominal pain, feeling uh, radiation or radiating pain around to the back or the right shoulder, uh, feeling nauseous and vomiting, having a lot of gas, burping, belching. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our gallbladder are through several different oils as well. We've got grapefruit and geranium, which helps with the gallstones themselves. Uh, peppermint can help with spasms, bile duct dilation. Uh, fennel can be supportive for spasms. Digestive blend is great for bile production. Then our next system that we may need to cleanse out would be our urinary system. So some of our usual concerns with the urinary system is there's burning, frequent, uh, painful urination. Calcifications in the kidneys. Uh, coffee, tea, and cola increases the occurrence of kidney stones. Um, and then having lower back pain can give an indication. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our urinary system is drink more water. Um, and then oils that are really supportive for it is eucalyptus. It helps with the pain. Rosemary supports um, removing infections. Uh, lemon is supportive to the kidney calcification. Geranium with the kidney cell calcification as well. And then juniper berry um, also with calcification. So there you go. All three of those topically, just slather them on and they're going to help with all that, right? So let's go on to the lymphatic system. So some of our concerns with our lymphatic system could be that we're having swollen lymph nodes, swollen hands or feet, excess mucus in our sinuses, and our skin is feeling sensitive to the touch. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our lymphatic system are through lemon. Uh, it's a very cleansing oil. Uh, grapefruit is a decongesting kind of oil. Lemongrass helps and supports with drainage um, and it stimulates uh, drainage. Uh, cypress is a great uh, stimulant for the circulatory. And helichrysum is also great for a drainage stimulant. Then moving to on to our skin, which is not a system, it's an organ. It's our largest organ, right? And we tend to mistreat it the most, I think. So ways to be able to support our, some of our concerns first about our skin could be that we're having rashes, a lot of blemishes, cracked, dry, itchy, flaky skin, um, seeing more wrinkles, uh, having lots of warts, moles, foot fungus, and groin fungus. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our skin. Melaleuca 
It's a fabulous oil for blemishes and rashes, a topical blend. It supports cracked, dry, itchy, flaky skin and blemishes. Then the anti-aging blend helps with age spots and wrinkles. Frankincense is supportive with uh, moles and abnormal skin growths. Lavender supports dry skin and ulcerations. Oregano uh, helps with skin tags and warts. Digestive enzymes help with skin problems due to food sensitivities. Right? Maybe your, your body's just not processing the food right and it needs some enzymes to be able to process all that gunk out better. Um, and then using an all-natural skin care also is extremely helpful and supportive for your skin. So our eighth system that we may need to be able to help work out a detoxification with is parasites. Some of our common health concerns with parasites are that we may be feeling fatigued, malnourished, maybe feeling sensitivity reactions, uh, having low uh, red blood cells, low blood sugar, uh, weight gain or weight loss, overall just feeling blah, um, having rectal itching, bloating or gas, uh, reactive bowels, decreased attention span, um, or just excessive activity. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild from parasites is some major oils. We've got oregano, thyme, fennel, lavender, Roman chamomile, lemon, and uh, caprylic acid with essential oils. oils. So all of those oils um, help eliminate and support elimination of parasites, as well as taking a probiotic, which helps protect against parasites. So then the next thing that we may need to clear out is candida and yeast. So some of our common health concerns with candida and yeast would be vaginal irritation, mouth fungus, gas and bloating, skin infections, rashes, brain fog, depression, fatigue, sinus pain. None of that's fun, right? So let's see how we can cleanse and rebuild from candida and yeast. So some of the great oils to support that would be melaleuca, oregano, thyme, cinnamon, clove, the protective blend, um, and then again, the <clears throat> caprylic acid with essential oils. So all of those, again, together, um, or you know, just depending on what might be right for your system, um, all of those above help eliminate yeast. And then again, a really good probiotic helps protect against yeast. So our final thing to be able to detox our systems from is chemical toxins. So some of our common health concerns with chemical toxins are long-term fatigue, headaches, poor focus, memory problems, rashes, muscle and joint pain, breathing difficulties, mood disturbances, anxiety and irritability. None of us want to be able to feel and experience any of that, right? I mean, who would want to have long-term fatigue? That's not fun. And we're inundated by so many chemicals. So let's see how we can throw these chemicals out of our system. So ways to be able to cleanse and rebuild our um, toxicity, our chemical toxicity from our system is cilantro. It's supportive with uh, eliminating heavy metals. The Slimming Blend, it's supportive with chemical elimination and it also assists weight loss. Uh, lemon and grapefruit helps to be able to detox the fat cells themselves. The Detoxification Blend is supportive with eliminating heavy metals. And then having a really good multivitamin and minerals protects against the chemicals and heavy metals. So some simple suggestions to be able to help um, not only cleanse and rebuild from chemical chemical uh, toxins, but also to be able to um, stay healthier and healthier and to uh, support your system against toxins are if you have any dental fillings that are mercury silver, um, find out about having them removed um, from a dentist who knows how to be able to do that type of thing to make sure that it doesn't continue to leach um, into your system. Drink clean filtered water. Eat organic mercury-free seafood. Use an air filter in your home, eat organic food, and clean it thoroughly. Live away from industrial sites. Use all natural cleaning products and use all natural skincare and hair care products. You know, we forget that our skin, 
our hair, our, you know, anything that goes on us topically, this is our largest organ and we're going to absorb even the water that we're bathing in. If it's toxic, if it has different chemicals and stuff in it, then it's going to affect our system. It's going to go internally. So this is, again, the 10 steps on how to be able to detox and renew with essential oils. Um, next week, we'll be going a little bit more in detail as far as a how to do a 30-day detox and cleanse with some of the oils and uh, some of this, the products or anything to be able to go more specifically in detail. But this just kind of gives you a real quick understanding of, you know, why our, why we may be feeling some of what we're feeling, some of our health concerns with our colon, our cardiovascular system, our liver, our gallbladder, urinary system, the lymphatic system, our skin, um, parasites, candida yeast, and chemical toxins. How we can be able to naturally and comfortably detox all that junk out of our system, right? Now, now that we understand a little bit more about our system and how it functions physically, what about the spiritual aspect of it? We all know that we're body and spirit connected, that we can't separate the two, right? So when our body is feeling gunky, um, our spirit is more than likely feeling gunky as well. Um, so we need to sometimes look at what the emotional and spiritual component is that could be going on that is manifesting physically. So I want you to take a moment this week to really examine and to think about what could be going on spiritually that could be creating that disconnect with you uh, physically. Um, and let's start really detoxing so that we can connect our body and our spirit and to be able to feel whole and healthy, right? So next week, again, the 30-day detox cleanse and restore. And again, if you would like to be able to have this fold out, um, please comment or message. Um, and this Saturday, I am going to be having my second Saturday sharing here at my home. So if you'd like to be able to attend that, to be able to learn more about detoxing, the theme will be continuing on this theme as well as to see my order that I did, my box of, of order this month. Um, it's just going to be a really great sharing time on Saturday at 10 o'clock, my home. So again, message me if you'd like to be able to learn more. Um, and in the, uh, at the beginning of this, uh, this video, you'll see my website as well. Um, so if you want to be able to learn more about oils, you can definitely check it out. All right. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. God bless.